With a rematch against the two better teams of the TVC Ohio, Mex came out on top with a 63-55 win against Alexander, preventing the Spartans from a late comeback win. It's so important, I think a lot of what happened, as you said, in the meat of the game, was we went down the floor. Every possession is so critical in a game like this against a good team. And we had two or three turnovers in a row. A lot of times it's what you do with the ball, you know, that makes a big difference, uh, even more so than defense. So when we throw the ball away, we allow them to come back and get some big shots. Despite squandering an early 12-point lead and going into the fourth quarter with a tied game, the Marauders regrouped and made every possession count as they phased out Alexander, ending the Spartans' eight-game win streak. All of the Marauders contributed, upholding possession of the ball as priority, highlightable by a fourth-quarter four-corners play that ate up crucial seconds in the final two minutes. The Marauders also held their ground on the defensive side of the ball, implementing several trap defense plays that prevented the Spartans from scoring too many consecutive points and gaining momentum. Leadership on the Marauder side was also an integral piece to the win. Caleb Sheets led the Meg scoreboard with 18 points, 6 rebounds, and 3 assists. Sheets was a part of every offensive possession, keeping the Spartan defenders on their toes through all four quarters. Sophomore surge Christian Maddox was not too far behind with 17 points and 3 rebounds. Maddox, who made his debut with the varsity squad last December, has been critical from the three-point line for the Marauders. On the other hand, the game was not a complete loss for Alexander. The Spartans showed off a true fighting spirit to come back and tie the game, capped off by Mason Chapman's three-pointer with two seconds left in the third quarter. Regardless, all credit goes to Megs, who are looking to end this revitalized season on a strong note. Despite the emotional win against Alexander, games against Wahama and Vinton County in the near future remind the Marauders that there's no time like the present to get ready. For Hardwood Heroes, I'm Steven Hernandez reminding you to be heroic.